in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Thank you for watching Charis TV. We are here in Charis Missionary Church uh, on the Sunday service where the man of God was praying for the people who were sick. And I'm with our mother here and she brought a child to be prayed for as the child was using oxygen and she'll be explaining to us what was happening. Mama, can you introduce yourself to us and tell us where you come from? My name is Amika Mapandra. Um, I'm from Eastern Cape originally, but uh, I'm, I'm married. Uh, my husband is coming from Venda. And Mama, we saw that uh, you registered for your child to be prayed for over prayer line by the man of God. Can you tell us what was happening? Um, I, you know, I've been requesting prayers left, right, and center for this child of mine. He was born prematurely at five months. Even the doctor was, uh, was assisting me to deliver the baby said this baby was supposed to die initially. So by the grace of God, he didn't die then. And um, he was admitted from 22nd of October in Parkland Hospital. He couldn't breathe for himself up until today so we saw that you were put can you uh, tell us how you were using this oxygen uh, to help the baby yeah. to breathe um you know this one is i don't even know how many oxygen he has been using he used different oxygen before this one i think it was the last oxygen that he was using but this is only the case for in case there is no electricity. There is a big uh, box at home that we are using for oxygen. For oxygen. And did, have you ever tried before to try to remove uh, the oxygen for him to see if he can breathe without it? I have tried, but he was not coping. Yeah, he was not coping, so I, could, uh, I had to put him back on oxygen. And so since the man of God has prayed for him today on prayer line, you can see that you're no longer using the oxygen. Can you explain to us how do you feel and did you believe immediately when the man of God told you to remove the oxygen from the child? You are free. What happened to the child? He was born before time. Before time? Yes. You are free. No more using this to breathe. In Jesus' name. Take the child. Bring the child. the child. You can remove this. Uh, the child is free. You can remove it. You won't die. Your child won't die. You can remove. You can remove. Put it off. You put it off. You are free. You know what? I've, it's been a while since my baby got discharged from hospital on the 18th of February. I wanted to come here, but unfortunately I didn't have assistance because I knew that once I come here, once you touch him, then my baby is going to be healed without any doubt. And what would you like to say to Jesus for the healing of your child today, Mama? I would like to thank Jesus and the men of God for healing my child permanently because it has been stressing me. I couldn't sleep at night. Everyone around me was so stressed about the problem that he had because it was not so usual to see a child living like the way he was living because he has been struggling a lot, especially when there is no electricity. Sometimes run out of this gas. So I thank God. I cannot explain it and express my gratitude to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Sanbonani. Greetings. My name is Zama. Yes. the name of my child. Last week I was here and I registered the prayer line. 
Ingani yami ibine nkinga yonga wazugus perfumle la bega dependego oxygen since wazalwa. My child had a problem of difficulty in breathing ever since my child was born. U doctor wa kuya wati uzo puma mtamba after eight months as elwe. The doctor said my child may be discharged after eight months after I gave birth. Gobune problem yama lungs. Because there was lung problem. After the apostle prayed for my child, he said to me, I must remove the oxygen tank. I removed it immediately from my child. I went home. I used the, I used the monitor to check the heart rate and the oxygen. When I saw that my child was okay, even today, since last week Sunday, we are calling up for more langas and happy never ending. Ever since last week Sunday, Apostle prayed for my child. I've never used the oxygen tank again. My child can breathe well. I'm here to shame the devil and to thank God. Amen. Let Let's talk about something else. How many of you are coming here for the first time? I want to show you uh, this lady. Maybe it will encourage your faith. That was giving a testimony here. If, if you see how that child was prayed for. Where is the lady that was having a child that was using a bottle who could not breathe? Born before time. Where is the lady? I'm sure it's on the side of the ladies. Where is she? The lady with, with the child the, who got a child and the child was premature and came with a bottle here. It's Come with that child because uh, if you see, I wish you can try to show it there. Uh, you don't have it. If you can see how this child was prayed for, you will understand that it has got nothing to do with us. If you see the bottle, that was being used. Always, it must stick here. The solo tip here. And if you have a child, that always the solo tip must be here. And the child can't breathe well. How long? How long? The child was using the bottle for five months. For five, five months. months. How old is the child? He is five months now. He's five, five months. months. Yes. Since the child was born, was it's using that one. But look after prayer. If we can see. How, do you remember how I pray for the child? Yes, I do. Can you just show me what I did to the child? I can't demonstrate. Huh? Because, you know what? I was supposed to be to the child. But usually you find that it's issue of doing like this. Can you see it? Yeah? Huh? And you find that already God has done it. Now I want to show you our problem we don't believe. Look now. Is the child giving you a problem? He has never given me any problems since that day. Since that since day. Yes. Yes. But since the child was born, using the, that bottle, did they tell you the risk of removing it? Sorry? Did they tell you the risk of removing the bottle? They told me. I, I, before I have tried, but he was not coping. He was not so coping when you, you tried to remove. Yes. Though they told you. What is it that they said? Uh... Doctor said the oxygen maybe might use it for eight months or more because of the condition. And the, did they tell you that if you remove, what will happen to the child? The doctor said I shouldn't remove it without her. Without him? Yes. Can you hear that? 
So it's like risky. These are the people that can report to us and say, no, I went there. Because the day when I say, remove this, you know what she did? The first thing she did, she didn't remove. She closed the... She wanted to see when she closed. But when she was speaking there, she spoke because she saw the difference. Now she began to speak in confidence. I came here by faith. I came here by faith. But the first thing that she did was to close the bottle. I said, remove. She closed. She wanted to see what will happen to the child. Now, the child is no longer having the bottle there. So, but you can see. So, think about this. If she closed, and the child began to kick, and, and the child died like this, you know what she will say? She will say, Pastor, kill my child. Doctor said this, Pastor said this, look what happened to my child. The job of being a pastor is not easy. It's a challenge. You people must come here with faith. Faith will work for you. I don't know if you're hearing me. So, I'm not, I'm not trying to fight you. But I know Satan was behind you. You were having fear. Yes, I had. Huh? I had you fear. were having fear of removing it. But thank God you are free today. Hey. And what would you like to encourage other parents out there that are suffering from challenges that you were having because yours is over. God has done it for you. What would you like to say? You, know, you, need, you need to have faith because if you don't have faith and you're having doubt, then you won't uh, you won't get delivered no matter what, even if the man of God can try enough because if you don't have faith, I had faith before I came here. So I knew that once you touch him, then my son will be healed and today he is healed. He's no longer going to use this oxygen going forward. So I'm going to have to return it. Mm. You are free. What happened to the child? He was born before time. Before time? Yes. You are free. No more using this to breathe. In Jesus' name. Take the child. Bring the child. Bring the child. You can remove this. Uh, the child is free. You can remove it. Won't die. Your child won't die. You can remove. You can remove. Put it off. You put it off. You are free. Hallelujah. Amen. Sanbonani. Greetings. My name is Zama. Yes. the name of my child. Last week, Last week, I was here and I registered the prayer line. My, my child had a problem of difficulty in breathing ever since my child was born. The doctor said my child may be discharged after eight months after I gave birth. Because there was lung problem. After the apostle prayed for my child, he said to me, I must remove the oxygen tank. I removed it immediately from my child. I went home. I used the, I used the monitor to check the heart rate and the oxygen. 
when I saw that my child was okay. Even today, since last week Sunday, we are calling up for Mula and Gaza and Pinaba Nkinga. Ever since last week Sunday, Apostle prayed for my child. I've never used the oxygen tank again. My child can breathe well. I'm here to shame the devil and to thank God. Amen. Mama, we thank you so much for joining us here today. As God has healed your child, I believe that even others out there that are watching, they're very much encouraged. Jesus is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will be able to solve your every situation and heal you from whatever disease or problem or situation or illness or sicknesses that you're facing in your life. As you can see, the testimony of Mami, the man of God, prayed for her on prayer line, and the child was healed instantly, and she, he is no longer using the help of oxygen. So we give glory to God and we thank you for watching Charis TV and stay blessed. Amen. Thank you.